It's me, Tiffany, and I'm here with my co-host, Tanea. Hey, guys. And we are back with an all-new Monday video. Yes, we are. If you can't tell, we got some new batteries in our light. And so y'all can on get on and popping. Full frontal. Y'all probably can see the sweat on my head. This is like 86 degrees in my house. And you know what? As I was plugging up the camera, I was like, maybe I should share a fun fact with y'all. Fun fact. My camera is near the fish tank, so every time I record a video, I take the power out of the fish tank, you know, their little breathing bubbles, and I plug up the camera. Why? Why don't you put your hair off your face? Um, it's fine, because it, it, it just, it, look, it looks crazy when I take it out of my face. It looks crazy when it's in my face, so. This is just what I've been dealing with all day. These are band two knots, by the way, that didn't properly dry, so. Mm -hmm. Today you got a little Tiffacon. Okay. Tiffacon. Alright, alright. Okay, okay, but anyway. Hey y'all. It's Monday. I had a hot ass, annoying ass. Ugh. Don't it seem like every Monday I come into like literally, this is my Monday. Like my job is ridiculous on Mondays. Like we won't even get started on Tanae getting off late and shit. I barely talked to Tanae today. That's how you know it's a busy day with her, but I want to give a shout out to everybody who watched our scandal review on Thursday where we did our behind the scenes because it was the season finale. Sorry, because the cat was going real close to the fish tank. Right, I got scared. Um, where it was, our, it was the season finale, so you know I like to do my back, my behind the scenes. And Tanea had a special behind the scenes for everybody where she recorded me acting a damn fool. Mm -hmm. But everybody seemed to love it, so I took my little embarrassment away because I was flipping around and shit. Like, literally, when I watched it, it was like watching something that I didn't know I did. Like, I don't remember a lot of it. My shirt was coming up. Y'all saw all my rolls. We really close now. Like, y'all saw everything. We closer than close. But yeah, shout out to all those people. And shout out to all the new subscribers we got over yes. the weekend. We have shout a lot of new guys. subscribers. If you came from someone or someone suggested us to you, I just want to say thank you for watching. And we got a lot of positive feedback. Right. So I'm really excited about that. And I hope you guys keep on watching. But um, also I wanted to tell y'all that we recently downloaded the app called Periscope. I don't know if you guys know what that is. It's basically an app where you can see uh, different people live. Like, you know, if I pull it up, you can see us live, like, right now. I should actually do it right now, but I left the iPad upstairs. <clears throat> and you know we're really into reality TV, and everybody always wants to know what happens after the show. So, <sighs> our name on there is going to be under my Twitter name, which is Beyonce's NUN number one fan. I'll put it inside the description box so you guys can see it. But basically every time we're on Periscope, it'll pop up on either Facebook or Twitter or you know, if you if you have Periscope, you can add us so you can see when we come on. But I did it last night, you know, just as a little trial. And there was so much illegal shit going on in this house that I just cut it off immediately. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's only illegal depending on what state you're from. Whatever. They know what state we from. Well, it's illegal or forty it's legal forty five minutes away from you. <sighs> hey Tanaya. Hey girl. Did you even say anything yet? I don't think so. Did you say hi to them? I think I may have. Oh, hey. Hey y'all, if I didn't say hey. You know on Mondays, like literally as soon as she walks through the door, I usually get home first. Well no, we'll usually come in together. Because yeah, yeah. they'll come and get me, but um this is like the first time we actually talk talk for like the day. So Today you know, at like, all. We're just seeing each other for the right, first time. Right, how Oh, I know how you do it. Um, we won't get into okay. it. But um, real quick, my friend uh, Tamira, we're giving her a shout out. I want Tanae to yes. tell a little bit about it. Okay, so it's our friend Tamira. Um, she <laughs> Oh, my bad. <laughs> right. My bad. Our friend Tamira, she is a wonderful, wonderful lady. And she has a foundation here in Baltimore called Dream Girls. And it's um, to help, like, um, young mothers, basically. Like, young mothers that are st still in school. And, like, you know, this helps them. Who needs a mentor? Yeah, who needs mentors. Like, she's really into She's a mentor. Yeah. Or whatever. So, anyway, she has this foundation. It's called Dream Girls. And she entered into a contest with State Farm to win money to help, you know, get, I think, like, to get a building. Yeah. For the foundation. So, um... That's what we want you guys to do. We want you guys to help us 
help our friend yes. win for the youth of Baltimore. Um, we're going to put the link in the bio. You basically just click on the link if you're not, um, if you don't have a Facebook app or you're not already um, signed into Facebook, it's going to take you to the sign in for Facebook. Just sign in and you literally can vote every day. I've been voting every day. And you can use up to 10 votes. And you can it, click this little box right next to it. It says use all my votes for the day. Click that, then vote. And that's it. And you know what? That's what I was going to say. Because usually stuff like this, well, not for her because that's bang. But usually when, you know, they say you have to vote 10 times, like you literally have to click it 10 times for like award shows and stuff. So when I went to it and I saw you could just click one what? button and yeah. get all 10 votes for the day, I was like, how easy is that? And she's actually, you can vote all the way up until January, I mean June, January. I've been June, voting at like a crazy person. Yeah, you can vote all the way up until June the 3rd. And it's just... It's just su it's it's for such, such a good, a good cause, and she's such so a positive. she's such a good person, and all she wants to do is be there for people. Because there's some people who are pregnant, who are 15, 14, and, and they, they don't, don't have, have a family, any, they don't have anything. support or anything. And the thing is, she is I like to support her because she's our age, she's right. young, and she's trying to help you know the people from where we from, our city. So you guys help her, please. Shout out to Mira. Okay, girl. so let's get straight into this video because let me just tell y'all, it was a busy, busy TV night for us last night. Like, and everything was coming on at the same, same time. time. Like, I wasn't ready. I, I just, I, I wasn't ready. But um, first thing we're going to talk about is the Billboard Music Awards 2015. I had a nice time. I, I enjoyed them. Um, I enjoyed them. I just be, I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Like, I don't know. It's just like award shows are not what they used to be when I was younger. So it's like, at this point when I watch award shows, it's sometimes literally for this show. Like, well, the so thing about good. it is, when we were younger, it was so much better music out. Yeah. Like, this is actually bullcrap. But, um, you know, it's like when we were younger, we really didn't watch a lot of, we, we probably didn't watch a lot of billboards because... Back in the day, billboards only really put out white people music, and not to say it like that, but yeah, like, uh, like you know, rap artists and um, R and B singers, yeah, and like we weren't on, they weren't on there unless you were singing with another white person. So we saw just about all the awards between flipping between that and two other shows. Mm -hmm. So um, I just want to, you know, we're gonna do a quick review on the show and most of the performers performances. I really don't have much to say about the people who won because it's just like it's like two main people won one direction and Taylor Swift and it's like um I don't know like I just don't agree a lot with not just the Billboard Music Awards a lot of award shows like I don't be agreeing with that answer so I just don't care like I I mean you know I'd be more watching for like um huh it's just so leave, annoying leave mine and yours can it no well, stop playing with it. Why can't I touch my hair? All right, sorry. <laughs> How should we it's, just, it's annoying. You want me to tell you it's annoying? No. Go uh, ahead. But anyway, Ludacris and Chrissy Teigen um, hosted the award shows. At this point, Ludacris is very corny to me. Yes, he is. And he's not funny to me. He's almost like dry. Like he's not really a funny person. Like I just, I just don't understand why people don't call Kevin Hart for every award. Because show. people are sick of seeing his little short ass. And also, it, it the one reason is because he is a comedic rock star. So with that comedic rock star comes a comedic rock star check, and you don't oh. have to pay Ludacris what you're paying. Okay. Um, okay, okay, okay. So, Ludacris and Chrissy Teigen, who was the wife of John Legend, if you do not know, who has recently become like my girl crush. She is just. But she been not. She just rude, ignorant, funny, don't give a f And my favorite thing about her is she's a model who eats. Like, her whole Instagram is showing her and John eating. Like, I just love them. But yeah. I feel like they were okay. You know, the, the whole big thing. Did you see her? Um going up on stage and I think her dress like tripped somebody and they fell. Oh my god. Yeah, so she came on Twitter today and was talking about it because everybody was like bashing her body like you didn't even turn around and check on her. I think this was when they were first about to open the award. So it was like she didn't have time to be like, oh my god, are well, you what was it? What kind of person that I don't know if she had a dress. Celebrity? I don't think so. If it was a celebrity they didn't say who it okay, was. Well, I mean that's I mean I'm not saying that but it doesn't matter right. but if it, as long as it wasn't like, did did she die? No. Did she break something? That's basically the show goes on. Saying, but um, 
The show started off with the bad, bad blood video by Taylor Swift. And let me just start off by saying, you know, sometimes how we sit back and we just acknowledge the great that Beyonce is allowed to do and the things that she makes happen. Like, when was the last time you saw a award show opening up with a fucking video? Like, a music, a video. music video. Like, literally, that shit's like iconic. Like, right. Taylor Swift is the shiznit. As much as I can't stand her perfect prissy pretty ass. She's not prissy though. I just... I love Taylor Swift. I told y'all going into 2015, I had three people that I, I was to go going, going to like again. It was Alicia Keys, Taylor Swift. I can't remember who the other person was. Carrie Hilson. Carrie Hilson. But, um, yeah, last night took me back to that angry space I had with Taylor for no reason. Like, that's the whole thing, though. I hate her for no reason. Right? So it's and, like, but the thing is, at least you can admit that. Right, I you know. know like, when people don't like somebody for nothing, and so, like, they start to make up, like, just ridiculous right. things. You just don't want, and that's fine, because there's a lot of people that I just, I feel like I don't have to. They, they have so many fans, why do I have to? My favorite is Beyonce. So, um, I really like the video, but I don't understand. I, I mean, no, I like the video. I'm not going to say I don't understand. Like, I don't know. It was just like, first of all, I feel like the Taylor fans have been counting this down for a while. Yeah. I just found out because I'm a big fan of Ellen Pompeo, who plays Murder of Grey on Grey's Anatomy. So she mentioned it this week. And I found out that, you know, it was going to be a whole bunch of different people in it. It was going to, they were going to be like action Like heroes. every day, you, every day she has been putting out like a different person that was going to be in like posting it. Okay. So it was, it was nice. It was a nice little count. It was a nice video. And I like that she um added Kendrick Lamar into um the song. She made it Kendrick Lamar's song. Like he had two verses. Yeah. I still like it though. Okay, I love nice. the little. I love Cindy Crawford at the end. Right. I love Ellen Pompeo. She's a bad bitch. People don't even know. You know, they really don't know. I love Ellen Pompeo. I think everybody in the video did a good job. I really thought it was a good video. It was. Shout out to Taylor Swift. You know, the go Taylor Swift Tay Tay. Tay. But That's let's her. go through each performance, which we're not going to spend a minute on. Or Where's more the, on who's our little beeper? So I can say how I felt about it. Because this is going to be fun. Okay, so first up, we're going to talk about Mariah Carey. <laughs> and um, here's what I have to say about Mariah Carey, and we're going to move on. I just feel like at some point, you have to realize that you have lost the voice. You know what I mean? And then, you know, because I had the story all mixed up. I thought that she had, like, completely canceled her Vegas shows, but she's recently had bronchitis. So, you know, of course, everybody's like, well, you know she got bronchitis. I'm tired of the bullshit. I have one question. Just like you stopped this Vegas thing, you need to call somebody for these awards and stop them too. The thing is, Mariah, you are a legend and I'm sick of you not being legendary. That's the thing. That, that And that's all I really have to say about it. Like, it's just like, be the legend that you are. That we be on the level that we put you at because we put you on a certain level and you just act like some hood rat scutterbuck like Mariah I'm tired I like the song though but I'm, I'm just so tired like please no more like just wait until it's time for them to give you a tribute and sing at the end like I'm just tired That's tired it. Mariah I'm and really she probably tired. don't even want nobody to do her a tribute because she is mean and she really don't like people she's an idiot oh. Kelly Clarkson um, hold on. I feel like Kelly Clarkson did a great job, and I feel like people are so, you know, distracted nowadays by the fact that she gained weight. It's like, fuck you. The thing are we here for the weight or the music? Because the music that's... hasn't changed, if you ask me. Um, since Kelly Clarkson has been on American Idol when she, perf like, when she, um, first auditioned, she's had a weight problem. Her weight has always fluctuated, so that's the go to show you that it really doesn't matter. Like she's always had a weight problem; it's nothing new. But doesn't she have kids now? Mm -hmm. So she's probably really like, you know, I got a man, a husband, and kids. F this weight, and it's about my voice. voice. So, and she you know. can sing; she sounds amazing. Better than half of these skinny people out here on the stage. But I'm still with you. Um, I have sad news to tell you guys that we missed my favorite Wiz Khalifa and her favorite Eric Sheeran. Hmm. I can't believe we missed it. I'm so sad about it. I'm sad about it too, but I heard they both did really good. Um, how do you pronounce it? Hosea? Hosea? I have no idea. Take, Take me to church. Uh, uh, uh. 
from December when we first heard it mm -hmm. at the um, Victoria's Secret, Victoria Secret, Secret Show. It's still the shiznit. I like it. It's a hot song. I so like he, song. And I love, I love him singing and my favorite part of the song is Amen. Amen! 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 It's pretty good. I really liked him. Uh, Imagine Dragons. What did they sing again? Oh, yeah! Oh my god. She loves Imagine Dragons, guys. Oh no, I got more. That was a kiss. Um, they sung um uh, If the Night. Welcome. Yeah. And, and the land is dark. And the moon is the only oh, oh, no. Every time Imagine Dragons perform, I just want them to perform. Uh, what's the song you like? Um, ready or active, ready or active. They can't do drum solos every time. I just want them to do it every time, but they did good. They As did. usual, they all right. did good. Um, Tori Kelly. <laughs> what? Sorry, I, I, couldn't, I had to hurry up and find my button. I thought it was a bug crawling on her. Something. I'm sorry, I just couldn't push my button fast enough because I her little white ass and she sings amazing i was so proud of her and i was so happy i'm excited for her i heard that she was originally you know from she started on um, youtube and a lot of people said they really found out about her after she did a frank ocean um cover but she was on um, american idol and simon kelly told her no it's not gonna happen it's not gonna work so it was um, one of the early versions of um that I think. What was I about to say? Oh, it's a really popular guy we follow on Twitter and he's been talking about Tori Kelly forever. And this is really nice to see because we're also, you know, YouTubers who plan on eventually having the same story, except we won't be singing. I mean, well, she sings, but we won't be singing. And um, it's just nice to see that her dreams are coming true. And I'm really excited that a lot of people got to hear her because it's not the first time that I've heard her, but it was just, it was uh, really it's not nice. the first time you have to, like, sit and, like, listen to, like, a whole... And, and you know what's sad is that uh, it takes new artists to come on award shows and shit on everybody else's voice. Like, but that's what... The thing is, that's what you're supposed to do. Yeah. It's your time. Go off, little mama. Go off. And that's right what Tori Kelly did. Guitar. Right. And the light. Bam. That's all you need. She's a, if you had title, she's actually on title. I said I was going to listen to her um, album when it comes out. Or if it already came out. I don't know. Nick Jonas. Nick Jonas said, fuck that. I don't care if the Jonas Brothers are gone. Or no. You will still know my sexy ass because Nick Jonas is sexy. Yes! Everybody wants to taste That's why I still be jealous. Yes! Nick, You did yes. that, Nick. I like the way your, um, your uh, outfit was Yo, I even like, like when he threw that there, I thought he was going to hit somebody when he threw the guitar, but the person caught it right on the side. Thank so God, because y'all know. It was, I thought it was going to be like a Miguel I was about to say, we don't need no fucking Mortal, Mortal Kombat kicks going across. Mm -mm. You know, he getting sued right now for that, but we ain't going to talk about that. How many years has that been? Enough. Right. Nicki Minaj and David, uh, what was his last name? David Gatta. David Gatta. Here's what I have to say about that. Only thing I was upset about was because I really wanted Nicki to do some of her hood shit. Like, I mean, I know that's asking a lot for Billboard Music right. Awards and, you know, the kind of setting it was, but I was just ready for some, you know. Well, Yo, bitch, call me Big Mom. Okay, right. calm down. I knew that she was going to be doing The Night Is Still Young because that's her new, um, that's her newest, like, I guess, pop single. Yep. And um, I actually don't skip it. I really like that song. I skip it. And um, so I had a good time. And then when she went to the song after that, because I don't know that song, like I don't have it, but I heard it. It's called like Hey Mama mm. or Little Mama. Can I, I just say something song. about Nicki Minaj though? Because we ain't gonna talk about 
what I want to talk about later, with my later, 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 later. But what I, all I'm going to say is you can tell that, be, that Nicki Minaj and Beyonce been hanging out. Beyonce been giving her some tips. I don't care. Beyonce Nicki is Nicki Minaj's choreographer. That's all I'm going to say. Listen, <laughs> Nicki, y'all was a crowd. Right. It was like a proud moment. Yeah, you don't know Tanae turned into a bar. <laughs> Shout out to the bar. I'm like a pink bee. Like a, <laughs> a bee with a pink wing. We need to come. We need to come up with a name for the barbs and the beehive since it seemed like we about to conjoin. You know. I'm a real Barbie. <laughs> Enough of Nicki Minaj. I really can't. Um, this is only for one reason before you hit that boo button. Oh, Pitbull and Chris Brown. Send it. Look, we. I wouldn't even have Pitbull on this list because I usually don't even watch his performances on award shows because I'm just so tired of his ass. They all sound alike. But Chris Brown was a surprise to me. I didn't know he was gonna be on that, and I thought he looked so nice in his red. He did. Okay, I won't press no button because you can't do a half. Because I really wasn't even doing the. You know, I wasn't really doing. But you know what? The thing about. Oh, did you put what's his face on there before I put say anything? What? Is he on there? He's on here. So All right, I'm gonna chill. Yeah, but I was really just judging about how Chris Brown surprised. Chris Brown me. and he did a good job. Chris Brown can sing his ass off, and that's the thing. Like, even though he is this, now I don't even call him like a terrible person because he's not a terrible person. He just does like not smart things at not a good time, and it's just like all that backlash, but. Boy can still sing, so what you gonna do? Yeah, just don't move around too much like you used to because sometimes your voice be a little shaky. Hey, you can't help that you get excited. Um, Britney Spears and Iggy Azalea. <laughs> Hold on, I got another one. <laughs> I can keep on going. <laughs> like, okay, so this is the oh part. God. Can we talk about this? Because the, the actual performance was everything I thought Britney Spears would give me. Mm -hmm. Because the thing about it is, if y'all don't know, Britney Spears been lip syncing since Hit Me Baby One More Hit Time. Me, baby. Ain't nothing gonna change because be she's a dancer. Exactly. So we already know it. It's fine. But what I don't understand mm. Mm -mm. is that other thing. What's her name? Iggy. Iggy. Why were you lip syncing? You're a rapper. What were you singing? Maybe it was because she had to move around so much. I really don't. It know. was a terrible ass mess, honestly. I mean, the, the thing is, we already knew Britney was going to lip sync. Like, you know what? Sometimes looking at Britney Spears, it's like looking at a holy person. Like, I know it's her, but the inside is different. She ain't right. Like, that's because, really off with her. That's because we, we've been through her through Hit Me Baby one more time to sh Britney. And, her, and Justin to shave my fucking head off yeah. to trying to get it back together. Like, we've seen her the whole journey. So it's like, you know, we know that you got a couple of effed up parts in the middle, and that is fine. Right. Because we love you. Right, man. I mean, so that's what it's like. The thing is, I was already expecting Britney lip sync, but it's like, you know, I mean, Britney could have did a little better on her lip syncing, but it's Britney. What, who it's Britney. Part? But that damn Iggy, she needs some practice in lip syncing. Like, how the hell do you fail a lip what sync? What did you lip sync for? Understand why? And she out here winning awards, right? Like that's who you want to say should win a hip hop award, Iggy? That's the epitome of hip hop for you. Um, Megan Trainer and John Legend. Oh, because Megan Trainer is my new favorite. Know much about it. I, I just, love John Legend. I love John Legend. So I was excited, and I knew if it was somebody duetting with John Legend, that they had to be able to sing because John she Legend can sing his ass off. So so she good. can. She did a good job. I actually want to hear her album. I, I heard it's really good. This one when I was getting ready for work, I heard it's really good. It's so good. It's on title the whole thing. Um, the Breakfast Club tribute. I really liked it. Had, um, was don't it? you mm -hmm. forget, forget about, about me? me. If y'all don't know, if y'all haven't seen, because I saw somebody at Charlemagne last night and said, y'all getting a tribute? Oh. I was immediately about to go and report them as spam. I would have asked them, was it, did they think it was the BET Awards? I don't Did you, is this a joke? 
Like, what's that? Do you not know about the movie The Breakfast Club? Are you that damn and dumb? For Molly's age, she looked good. I was expecting right. her to come out there and looking all old and shit. Go she, I thought she looked nice. She did. She did. She looked. She should have wore her outfit from the movie. That was such a cute outfit. People are still wearing it today. And everybody was turned up because everybody knows the song in the movie. So it was just like... Like, who? I didn't know people who never seen that movie. Even, like, did you say somebody... Who tweeted it that it was their all-time favorite? I can't remember what it was, but somebody did say it. Simone's brother. Oh, yeah. Our friend's little brother. He yeah. just graduated from high school, and he still was like, yeah. that's the movie. So, like, I don't understand. Um, Kanye West. And I don't give a f- what y'all got to say. Y'all can give him some booze, and y'all can come under here and give him a thumbs down, but I don't care because y'all have to respect that man's creative thinking. And he is a genius. I thought Kanye did a good job from what I could hear. <laughs> Yo, I turned up. I, yep. We didn't have no video. Yo. I really turned up. Like, you would have thought that I was at, I was there. I was going to say, you know, the parts that we could hear, even when it was blanked out, Tanae was, like, flipping the fuck out. It was just a nice time. I really went off when they played Black Skinhead, but... Because I know that was coming yeah. in. Why would you he do that? He did that for the white people. Yes! Yeah. one word. He said every N-word, black skin, white people, all that. He said it. I love him. Um, I was I was sad that, you know, we couldn't see him and we didn't get to hear the whole thing, but I really haven't gotten the whole story as to, like, is it a beef going on with Kanye? Why did they boo him? Like, oh, well, you know, people are always booing Kanye West, just like when, let's talk about this, when he they went to go um, announce him, the cal- the Yeah, I had that down him. And they booed them. Mm-hmm. I thought that was so me. I feel like you shouldn't be allowed to boo people in front of their face, like right before they like perform. That's just rude. Like unless you're at like a sports game, because that's the point. You can't but control people. The thing is, like, and I think Kanye West said it. Like, even though you may not like my song, don't disrespect my craft yeah. and my work. And that's like, and, that's, and I just don't like that. But um, I mean, well, people disrespect people craft. I mean, because if I would have been there and if I would have heard Mariah Carey, I wouldn't have booed her. Yeah. Okay. It's rude. I would have been up singing with you. That's I don't know them words, but I'm just saying. But yeah, I thought Kanye did a good job. And yeah, you know what? It was not all those. And that's, you know, that one way I was like, Tiffany, all of this part of the song should not be bleeped out. Technical difficulty. That's why when um, Ludacris came back to say his clothing, yeah. a lot of you didn't hear. Because it wasn't working. So y'all just so happened to mess up when Kanye went on the stage, huh? Y'all need to be expecting a rant. Well, oh, he gonna go off. So I hope y'all ready. He not gonna come back either. Um, last but certainly not least, this is not all the performance, but these are all the ones that we're gonna talk about that we actually cared about. <sighs> Empire. First, let's start off with Jesse. Oh, and Estelle. You know, oh, go ahead. Yeah. Do, no, I don't think you should be allowed. Why? Because <laughs> you mean everybody. That, the thing about it is, they're not real artists to me. Okay, <laughs> they're from Empire. Uh, Estelle is. All this is for everybody except for Estelle. <laughs> okay, here's the thing. Okay, today. It's not my fault. It's still going. Okay, here's what I'll say because I don't, you know. What? Be yeah. honest. I, I, I am going to be honest, bitch. Don't sugarcoat it. I'm not sugarcoating sugar nothing. Sugar. Here's the point blank period. I love Jesse. I know that he's like America's sweetheart right now. I think he has a beautiful spirit. I <laughs> actually <laughs> love the song that he sings. I, I actually do like the, you're so beautiful. And, um, Life is like a big merry-go-round. I'm about to have okay. to you. <laughs> Here's you the thing. <laughs> his looks, his popularity, his dressing, none of that can change the fact that this man cannot yes. sing. Oh, hey, my God. God. Oh, my nerves. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, Jesus. It wasn't me, Lord. It, it was wasn't me, God. It was hey. me. Look, I'm sick of this. Oh, y'all. Yes, Jesse. Go on. Empire. Shut the fuck up. That's, he sounds a mess. He sounds a mess. I will go listen to Trey Song's Yodel before I pay to see that. And then here comes Hakeem with his fake ass raps. Like, are y'all really oh, what, about what, to do what, Now, the thing is, if you let one of them get shake ass, if he ever gets 
in for like a category. Oh, correct? oh my god. I will shit. I will I will go crazy, okay? <laughs> because I just don't understand. It's not real music, people. It's Empire. If it wasn't for Empire, they would not be singing or even have no type of record deal. Now I will say what is his name? Jesse? He is beautiful. I my panties at him even though I know he won't catch him because that's not what he like but he's still amazing I love him he looks so beautiful he should just stand there and shut the hell up like that's the best thing for him to do oh um there you have it <laughs> those are what we think about the performances that was <laughs> Or Michael Jackson. Or I really like him though. I, I like love him. him. I feel like he's such a nice guy. I feel like he has such a nice spirit. And you can tell that he really, really loves music. But the thing is, I really, really love, you know, yellow cake with chocolate ice and a piece of fried chicken and a Pepsi. But I know I cannot have that every day. It's not good for me. So what he needs to know is he can love this music thing, but it's not good for him. And that's all I'm going to say. I don't even have anything to say after what she just said. Like, because it's the truth. Okay, we're moving on. But real quick, people who we were excited to see, Ellen Pompeo, who I thought yeah. she looked amazing in her pantsuit. She, she came so to the stage good. like, bitch, I might not be a singer, but me. Right. What? Twelve seasons, bitch. Know me. That's what black bitch be saying. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's why we had Ariana Grande's ass flipping all over. What was Ariana last night? Girl, she is too heartbroken. No, I think she on tour though. Um, Chris Brown and royalty came, which pissed me off this morning because it was this big date debate. Because people was like, "Oh my God, Chris Brown is such a good father." How do y'all know? Like this. What I'm, saying, I'm not taking it away from him because it might he might be he might be him, but it's just like y'all either he, he it's like he's such a good father but one day he's like a piece of shit like y'all just don't know what y'all want to like you don't know this man praise his music and that's it um J Lo looked amazing which she usually does but. We were just kind of wishing that she would have wore that outfit to the Met Gala. Like I told you why she didn't. You told me. Okay. She didn't wear it because... What did you say again? I said she didn't wear it because they got, you know, her about Beyonce and her dress and she just wasn't loyal. She, her dress was more like, um... It was still see-through when she wasn't loyal. <laughs> Um, and she threw some shade at Mariah when she was clapping at that. It wasn't shade. That was true. Um, I thought Kendall and Kylie looked good, and I also love the fact that Ballman is now coming to H and M. So they actually had on samples of the clothing that will be going to H and M. Can H &M. I tell you about these? Like I was just okay. like, somebody gonna get stabbed. The because... thing about it is, let me just say something because I'm not you. If y'all asses can fit it, get it. Because I can't fit it and I would get it. I'm going to get a skull for something. I don't care. But if people, like, they don't know how to spell it. I've seen it hashtag so many times today. It's not even spelled right. And I'm just like, bandwagon niggas. Like, all right, all right. All right. Um, but the thing is, but I'm going to give me a skull or whatever he got. Me, for the first time ever to me. Kylie looked better than Kendall. I mean, Kendall was on her model shit, but Kylie looked really nice last night, and she usually doesn't. You know what? Her The only thing about Kylie, I mean, Kendall is her oversized jacket was too oversized. Yeah, it was really big. Like, it was too, like, it didn't get tailored good enough, or maybe she lost some weight after it got tailored, but hope she looked her amazing. hair looks amazing. Her hair looked amazing. Her makeup looked amazing. I really like the pants and the shoes. Um, Rita Ora is there, which I always say she looks nice. I just don't know what music she does. But she, I don't think she's from here, so I think wherever she's from, she has a really big audience. Okay. Um, Taraji looks nice. Taraji just always gives me Yvette. Um, Taylor Swift and the crew, they all look nice. Taylor Swift and her, Taylor I love Swift her. Is bony as shit. And she, yes, she is. Y'all remember that time that she had on 
like this short set, but it was on one piece. Yeah. And I talking about her butt being saggy. Oh my gosh, um, she's so skinny. Lord Jesus. I'm so happy to see a black person in Taylor's squad. Give it up to Empire's Rihanna. Whatever. Um... Why do I have no Kim? No Kim? N-O Kim. I guess, because no, you have no B also. <laughs> no, well, what I was going to say about Beyonce was, it doesn't matter what happens at the build, whatever, nobody's ever going to top her run the world performance when she did it with the... Were you expecting Kim to be there because they, because Kanye was there? Oh! I was gonna say I was surprised Kim Kardashian didn't come. I wonder why she didn't come. He was home with Blue. Well, I was. mean, with Noah. Sorry. But um, anyway, I, the the. The billboards were pretty good. They were pretty they good. Were pretty good. They de- the billboards, I can say, from like the past couple of years, they're definitely keeping you more entertained. Yeah. Now, real quick, what I want to say, and then I'm going to move on. I was, the BT nominations came out today, and I was actually going to try to squeeze them to the show, but I knew the billboard was going to take up a big chunk. And also, I, well, I'm going to do it on Thursday, but I just have a special message for the no, I'm not supposed to do that no more. Yeah. I was really about to say about on the BT was the, the nominations because Jasmine Sullivan is com- is always shit on when it comes to these award shows. And I just need to know. If you watch Jasmine Sullivan, you know that tell me somebody who sings better than Jasmine Sullivan right now in the R and B category. And then we can, you know, discuss why she's not nominated. Right. I don't understand. And we'll talk about it on Thursday. Who do you think why I just so understand it. I'm sorry if y'all hear the rain, it's real loud. Um, but yeah, moving on, going into the Bruce Jenner two part interview that came on last night. You know, they already had the interview of when, you know, he basically came out to the world, but this was basically to show us when he came out to the kids and how they felt about it. And I just have a couple quick things I want to say about it. Um something that really disturbed me in the interview was when he said he was really only worried about Kendall and Kylie. He wasn't really worried about anybody else. And you know how to write. And it's not to say that he didn't. I don't know. Like I just feel like he shouldn't have said that. Because Chloe, like she said, when when her mother and Bruce got together, she was four years old. She's lived with Bruce. And she said, I've known. Was you know, even, she's like, we're four not four. blood. But I've known Bruce longer than Kendall, Kendall and, and Kylie. Kylie. And I just think it was wrong for him to say that. And I believe that Kendall, Kendall Kylie, and Chloe were the most upset. So, you know, I just, I didn't like that. You know, Bruce. I didn't like it either. And it's just like, he, and like when she came, when they came back the next day, and she was like, you didn't even call me. It's just like, Bruce, what is going on with you? Like, I understand you're living for yourself, but, buddy, you still have kids. Um, them painted toenails. Y'all could have kept that clip. Um, the hills. Chloe even, Chloe even went and bought this man matching hills to go along with her. I don't. It's too much. Sometimes I really have to sit back and be like, oh my god, like Bruce Jenner is now a woman. But see, the thing is, she bought him them hills not knowing that, like, she's still thinking like that. He's like easing into this or learning more about this, not knowing that he's about to become a full blown woman. woman. And that was something else I didn't like. Like I didn't, he, which when he explained it, it made sense because you, you know, it is hard to come out and tell every single thing, and he's been keeping it a secret for so long. But I definitely felt like he should have been a little more open with he the family because he made it. He, Chris said, and that's and this goes back to when we watched it, and they said Chris didn't have a comment. Of course, she didn't have a comment. Chris is tore up. Okay. You gotta tell your sister that we record. You don't know that we record on Monday. It's annoying. But um, but yeah, it's just like you know. She said she asked Bruce, "Are you are you about to go through this transition? Are you going to become a woman?" Oh, I don't know. Like right. that's not fair. To that's not fair. because it's like you're gonna come out to the world. You're about to do all this, but nobody knows. Like you didn't even tell your family that. Like. Like he told that he had already booked Diane Sawyer and then told Ray, Oh, you know I'm doing this Diane Sawyer thing like or that's just like Chloe said, she was like, Well she read about it, you know, you have to be doing the hormones for a long time before you get the surgery. Yeah. So if you or you have to go through like psychiatric stuff, she's like, So you've been doing this for months. Right. Getting ready for this for months. And you didn't let us know and like you're about to be a whole different person. Like, because you're saying, and this is the thing, like, I really think he's 
confused too. Like he's still confused. And I feel like he might go back. He needs to go back to a, a, a shrink and talk about it more. Mm. Because he keeps on telling them, I'm not leaving. I'm still going to be the same person. But you also say Bruce is going to be gone. Right. So it's just like, yeah. what? Like you're not in so uh, do they no longer have a dad? Can they not call them? And then you also need to let them process because if you don't really have to process because it's your life. Right. So what do you have to process? You need to let them process it. Um, I felt I, I I really like this the part where we got to see more about Chris because I I don't know like we've just been watching Chris for so many years on TV and I already knew how she felt and because she's very emotional. Me and Chris had the same birthday, so I already know. How she's she very felt. emotional and like she said, it just feels like she's mourning. Like she's mourning. She thought that this was somebody she was going to grow We're old with, with, and now it just makes me want to go back and apologize to Chris because how when I first found out home? about them divorcing and stuff, like I was. never thought it was this in a million years and she was just like I just felt like well were those memories real right were they she was like I really felt like I lived a life that kind of really just doesn't exist right. like it's it's a lot for her because <laughs> you want to go upstairs go ahead because we I mean did you want us to go ahead oh, okay but I'm just saying like you know I really feel I feel bad for Chris and for the kids who are taking it hard, and I, I, I really feel bad for Kim. Well, that was my next thing. I said Kim is in a really, really, really yeah. bad, you know, part because she sees Chris crying every day, but she also still wants to support yeah, Bruce. Bruce. So it's kind of hard for you to do. Right, I, and that's what I had. Next, I had. I, I feel bad for all the kids breaks down, especially the Jenna kids. Like, I know that they're accepting this, but I really feel like Kendall and Kylie, as much as they're proud of him for actually coming out and being honest, this is still a lot to deal with. Like, and you and can't do it publicly. Right. So, not only are they shaming you, Bruce, now they're shaming your family and they're bringing them into it. Like, just like the thing with um, China's mother. The first thing she said was, your parents are divorced and your father wants to be a woman. They don't have anything to do with Kylie and Kendall. You know what I'm saying? Like, his situations don't have anything to do with them. But because... They're his kids. They're going to be affected. Yeah, like, it's not fair. I mean, I understand he has to live his life, but I just definitely feel like he should have let them get prepared a little bit more. So that was basically what happened in the first part. The second part comes on the night. So if you haven't seen it, catch the first part first and watch the second. I'm excited about tonight because we get to see more from Courtney and Scott, which everybody was wondering about when we watched him come out to the world because, you know, Mason is going to go from having a granddad to a... Two grandmothers. Two grandmothers, I guess. And that's just... A, that's a lot. That's yeah, a yeah. lot. Like, that's a lot. And, you know, Courtney has some deciding to do. I'm not going to go into At that. At least but, yeah. P and, like, Rain a little. Yeah. Or, like, what if, what if they look back at pictures? Right. Who's right. that? Right, so. And you have to, like, cause you just don't always want to explain. Like, sometimes it's just too much. I just can't wait to find out what his girl name is, but, you know, moving on. <laughs> yes, I know she was. I think it's going to be, like, Brianna. Lil B. Um, moving on to the third thing that came on last night was Sandy's right. ski trip, which I did not know was coming on last night. And real quick... Let me go to my tweet so I can just say how I really felt. The about first thing I want to say is mixing your families together is always something scary. And I was actually embarrassed for Todd because I already knew how Candy's family was going to act. Right. You know what I mean? Like, they, their family is just... they. She has so many aunts and they all act just like the mother. So I felt kind of embarrassed when they were like going off at the table and you know, his family was sitting there like, well, what the fuck? You know, they right. came to enjoy that little vacation that Todd sponsored, you feel me? Like, I just, I don't. Then I want to say Mama Joyce with the whole Todd and Carmen thing because it's just a little bit too phony for me. If you was doing this before they got married. Right. They've been married a whole year now. Cut it. Just leave like, it alone. You know, I was listening to Todd saying, like, you know, she actually might really, you know, really, because, you know, she lost, uh, you know, her. I think she lost her mother and she lost her son or mm. she just lost her son or something like that. And he was like, you know, so she knows what the pain is and she may actually know what I'm going through. But 
Todd, I just want to say, I know you're not that stupid anyway, but don't trust her. I don't right. trust her little old ass. Like, right. I just don't. Like, I feel like that whole coming to the cemetery and stuff was because she knew the cameras was going to be there. And Carmen, I'm glad that she did speak to you, but I would keep my distance from that bitch. Right. Well. I couldn't trust her. And, then, and the thing about it is, I don't care. Like, Candy really, really bothers me as into why Girl. she can't get her mother in check. When it comes to her candies, like, right. like you can wreak havoc in anybody else's life that you want to. But when it comes to my husband, my husband's family, my child and my stepchildren and my best friend, you need to chill back. Right. And I don't understand why she just can't say that, like, oh, that's my mama. That's nothing to be proud of. It's embarrassing and rude and disrespectful. It really is. And y'all know I've been telling y'all for months now that if it was my mother, I would have been got I tweeted during the show, these old bags are ungrateful. Because that's exactly what they are. Well, that was my next the thing I was going to um, It's just rude. That was my next thing I was going to talk about. I had uh, her complaining ass family. You know, I thought that Mama Joyce was the only ungrateful one. Because you always see her aunts, but... You know, sometimes she'll go to her aunts to, you know, just try to figure out what she should do as far as her mother or, like, they'll show her aunts at, like, a family event or something. I didn't know that all these little old bitches were, like, I knew that they looked like Mama Joyce and they had her annoying-ass voice and accent, but I didn't know that they were all a big-ass complaining family. I really think Mama Joyce told them, okay, I'm going to be the one to act right. Y'all just act the fucking fool. Like, like, it's... That bad, just it, because I've acted up before, and it starts to like wear you out. Like it's, right. it's overwhelming. When does it stop? It just was so rude. Like, and then the cousin, right. like the the first of all, Weenie. First of all, I understand that they were, you know, I, I see that they were feeling some type of way because they said before this trip, they haven't really been seeing Candy. Candy has been coming to family. You know, stuff like that. Why now? Like, why do you want to discuss this now? I don't understand name? why they ain't take Candy to the side or call Candy from the room. Why and they talk about it before the whole damn trip? Oh, well, when Candy was in, no, I'm talking about of them complaining about that room. Oh, yeah, that too. Why they didn't do that while Candy was in that room? You know, this is just, it's going to be a little bit too far for us to walk. Why would you say it at dinner after everybody settled, y'all old asses are settled? Like, and then they didn't change the goddamn room. Here's the thing. Because I'm telling y'all right now, if I was Candy, how the aunt was already talking about how she wanted to go home anyway, I would have been like, don't unpack your shit. I got a shuttle on the way to take y'all old Anybody asses Anybody who wants to go home, to you can go home. I'm not keeping you here. And that's how you know Todd really is trying to be, uh, you know, a good sportsman. Because see, if I, cause I know Todd and me are on the same level a little as far as the ignorant shit. Because see, I couldn't have been Todd. Because at the table, I would have been like, well, y'all can just go home. Right. That would have been me. Well, y'all should just go home. And you know what? Now that I, you know, we see a little more of Riley. Let's just talk about when when Riley first appeared on the show. Like, Riley really is growing into what her family is. She's a complaining ass little girl. And, and right. she's ungrateful also. And she's disrespectful. How is this going to say, you know, you need to respect your elders. But I hurt my leg too. And then the thing is, okay, so I've noticed that, you know, Riley said it first that they didn't want to leave because you remember Kayla said, well, if we don't have any choice, then okay. So, you know, Riley's like, you know, we don't want to leave. Uh. So Kayla's like, we really don't want to leave. Y'all getting on my nerves. No, that's your ignorant ass, bad ass, ungrateful, disrespectful daughter that you raised. Don't y'all, you, you need to say Riley. Ain't no y'all, you. Now, y'all remember what I said about Riley last time and y'all attacked me? I'm adding Kayla to it. I believe that both of them ride the short yellow cheese bus. Can I say something? I was thinking that, but then I went back to how I feel like all kids are a little slow. So, it might just be, it, 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 it could be me. Because I feel like all these new kids are a little slow. All of them. All of them. Mm. Well... We'll be tuned in for Candy next week. Hopefully, you know, nobody gets me punched in the I feel eye. bad for um, I feel bad for Todd's assistant because I would have been like, if I, if it really don't affect my, like, if I'm not getting no bonus or getting fired, do I really have to come with these ignorant ass people? You know what? People? Also, what I wanted to say is, I think it might be a good idea if Candy get a new assistant. And I'm not saying put her best friend out of a job. I just feel like it's not the job for her anymore. And I just feel like Candy. 
want so much more out of an assistant, but her assistant is just so comfortable. Because that's how she let her be. Right. Like, you let her be comfortable, and then when you see how a real assistant is, you're like, I want that. Sorry, ma'am. You didn't know they let me, you know. I think a low, low cover, uh, undercover Todd might think that Candy is stupid. I think he, I don't think he thinks she's stupid. I think he thinks she's annoying as fuck. Oh, best of candy birds, riches. Um, right. The movie Bessie came out on Saturday night. Hold on, let me go to my tweets for that. Um, Bessie was about the singer Bessie Smith, and uh, I believe Ma Rainey was in it. And let me just start off by telling you that I really don't know much about Bessie Smith. So, like I was, somebody was asking me earlier that I enjoyed the movie. I liked the movie, like, because it caught my attention the entire time. Nobody told me that Bessie was, like, this hardcore lesbian slash bisexual so I just right. wasn't ready like I wasn't the thing ready is, is that the part of Bessie Smith's life that she really wanted us to know because the I thing mean, about it is what I'm saying is I still don't know much about Bessie other than she had sex with girls and men well no she was very aggressive you know I mean, well, do you think Ike Turner wanted everybody to know that he whips ass for We had him? already knew that before the movie. Okay. His but that's what I'm saying. We still, I mean, because everybody was like, Bessie Smith. I'm like, oh my God, I'm really about to learn something. I learned that she was a lesbian. And aggressive. Like, she was a good singer. I'm, well, she was a singer. I mean, just because she was a singer don't mean she was a good singer. Oh, I don't know. I mean, I guess I learned enough, but I guess I wanted to know more. Like, I mean, I feel like they just focused too much on, oh, I guess maybe that was all it was to focus on. Like, I really don't know. But that, well, I'm just saying, do you think Bessie Smith would be proud of that? Oh, I don't know. That's, I've been thinking about that since it went off. Is that something that Bessie Smith is proud of? I mean, I'm sure her family approved of one, so, you know. I guess. But um, what I want to say, you know, start out with a couple of things about the movie. So the movie was uh, called Bessie. It came on HBO at 8 o'clock on Saturday night. And the main character, Bessie, was played by Queen Latifah. And that was also uh, Ma Rainey was played by Monique. We had uh, her lesbian lover who was teaming up. up the one of it her husbands. So pretty. One of her husbands was Mike Epps, and the other one I can't think of his name, but the guy that played The Wire, Omar from The Wire. Mm -hmm. So you know, it was a little you know action packed or whatever. But the first thing I want to talk about is Queen Latifah's titties. Yeah, I I just wasn't ready, you know. I just um. Why Queen Latifah's greasy ass titties for like I, literally three minutes long. Like that's how long. Like her, she was naked. I just didn't understand it because that Bessie Smith liked to be naked. Like I just, why did I have to see her orangutan titties on my TV? They really weren't orangutan, so let me stop that. But it's just like. They weren't nice to see. It wasn't like, you know, something you want in your brain. Like, if it was Beyonce's. I mean, it's not even that. It's just like, I wasn't ready. But, you know, if the money was right for them titties, my titties would have been out too. Sagging it Well, low. can I tell y'all something? Because I'm really broke, way broker than Queen Latifah. So, they probably would have sold mine for much cheaper. But I'm just saying. It just, I wasn't, I, like you said, I wasn't ready. Like, I was one of the talks of the night, though. A lot of people were talking about the titties. So I, I, I right. hold on, because I tweeted... Um, Bessie is hot in the ass. Bessie, Bessie was. was doing anything moving, honestly. And that's what I—that's what I was going to say. You know, for, the second thing I had was Tika Sumter, which we found out was her lesbian lover. Which I just found that out a day before it was coming on. But Tika Sumter is really pretty. I, I'm sad that I don't get to see her a lot because yeah. you know I don't watch the Have and the Have Nots. I heard that's like her oh. big thing. So you know I really don't know much about Tika, but I think she's gorgeous. I think she's so pretty. She's gorgeous, but the next thing I had was that she was a slut and she had sex with boys and girls. Like, I couldn't keep up. Because it was like she was in this serious relationship with Tika and then she got in a serious relationship oh, with the black how guy. About the, the, the elevator scene where she's kissing, I think he's kissing Bessie, but Tika's kissing Bessie, but they like hugged up. It was just a lot. It was a lot, but um, yeah, we, we definitely found out that Bessie was a, a slutty uh, bisexual. Oh my god, look what I put about Bessie and Mike Epps. What's that? <laughs> a little oh. right. No. <laughs> That's so funny. Um, how do you think Monique did? I think she did 
did good. Monique was giving me um precious mother. Oh. Just like of course, just like um quality. This looked like a slave version of Cleo. Wait honestly. a minute. Because that was one of the first things I tweeted. Nobody told me that Cleo was gonna make her interest into the movie, bitch. It was like a nineteen twenties version of Cleo. Cleo's grandmother. AKA set it off. Right. She was like, Cleo, like Cleo was all up and through that. How about when Monique was a man? Well, hold on, but then, when they was playing poker, did the other men know that they were men? Or were they just acting like, I mean, the other men know that they were women, or were they acting, I it, it was confusing to me. I really feel like they should have put some, like, captions at the bottom. Like, they, they should have explained it. My last concern about this movie is the little boy that she brought home like a stray cat. Whose child was that? Where did he come from? Oh, no. No, the foster home. They mailed me something in the Did he say he came from? But I thought he said he was lying. Oh, that's what she I thought they was like, she, she, that's what she told me to say. Like, where did... Was it his father? I mean, was it his because he was cheating on... I don't know. Somebody, do y'all know? Come tell me because I don't know. But overall, I thought Queen Latifah did a great job. So. I give it a good 3.5. Out of what? Five. Five. I give it a four. Don't give points. No, it can't be no four point nine. Don't tell me. Come on, you're just giving out stuff to Grace too easily. <sighs> um, so moving on to the music world. First thing I want to do is say rest in peace to the King of Blues, Mr. BB King. Which, you know, I already found out that he was in hospice in uh, Las Vegas like earlier last week. So it was just like as soon as I found out, then it was like he had died. And they gave him a short little tribute at the billboard but i'm hoping that at the next award show i think it's because it was too quick yeah and we don't want y'all to do what y'all did with whitney right i'm still mad who played the, oh the guitarist from um imagine dragons what that was the bb houston i mean mm, bb houston i want to say bb Wines. that was the bb king thing oh yeah that was good that was good but um i want more yeah. Um, and also, rest in peace to the rapper Jinx, who was actually Jinx. Sorry, this is the. I'm sorry, this is the first I'm hearing about him when he died um, the other day. But I went to his Instagram page, and I was just really sad because he has kids, and I already told y'all. It just seems like every time I turn around, so, there's some kids losing their father to right. guns and stabbing and just violence. Like it's, it's just. It's sick and disgusting, and it just it just seems like it's about to get bad because now something about the Kardashians is involved. Right? It's I was reading up on it, and it's not it's not really the Kardashians. It's Malika, and there's something going on with Malika because apparently he was married for twelve years, mm -hmm. but you know it's been pictures of him and Malika like hugged up, sit her sitting on his lap or whatever. So what I'm saying is. Even if that is going on, don't overshadow what really happened that this man lost his life to violence. Right. That's not important because the thing about it is neither one of them have him right now. Right. Like that's the sad part. Like it It's just sad. Like don't make a mockery out of his right. death. You it's, know what I'm saying? It's really, really sad, so I you know, prayers to the families who right. lost, you know, their loved ones this week because that's never something easy to deal with. Um, shout out to the Janet Jackson fans. Right. Janet Jackson herself came out on her birthday and put out a little voice note saying that, yes, there's new music coming and, yes, there's a world tour coming, which, like I was telling our producer yesterday, who oh, is a, a big Janet Jackson fan. Shout out to Uncle Al. We literally had, like, a 20-minute conversation about Janet Jackson yesterday. During our meeting. During our meeting. I wonder if we can do that about Beyonce. Probably. Mm-hmm. But, um... Yeah, when it comes to Janet, like, all year we've been hearing, Janet's coming out with something, Janet's coming out with something. Janet and Beyonce remind me, you know, close to the same. I don't believe shit until they say it. Like, I don't even believe Janet Jackson's Instagram. I, I really need to hear it from her mouth. I don't right. believe Beyonce's Instagram, but shout out to the Janet fans because that's just so exciting. And me and today were saying if the tickets aren't $25,000, you know, we're poor. We're going to try to go. You know, we probably won't be up there with Uncle Al, you know. He'll be in front row. Our right producer, now. he'll be in front row, you know. He'll buy $50,000. He'll ticket. be in the back. He'll be on stage with Jane. Right. But, um, also, of course, Wendy Williams. Why? I don't know. I hate her ass. 
she came on her show today and she was just basically pulling how they do about Beyonce. I don't think that she needs to put out no new music or have a world tour. Why not? Yada, yada, yada. Are you yada. still putting on shows? And like I had to tell somebody, if y'all think that Janet Jackson is about to reply to that shit, yeah. Y'all got another hey, thing coming. Wendy, are you still doing shows? Shut the fuck up then. Like, I just, I just can't. She just don't know when to shut up, but, um, on to some exciting news. Shout out to the people who got titled. Shout out to the people who don't got titled too. Oh y'all got it. Came out well Nicki Minaj's video for Failing Myself featuring Beyonce, Beyonce came Beyonce. out today. And I mean, what can I say? I love me some hood ass, thotty ass Beyonce. And that's exactly what she is. Like, like Beyonce. I is love this. Beyonce. I love her. Of course I love Nicki Minaj. Like, you can just tell whenever this whole Beyonce Nicki Minaj era. Such a unreal. It's just so unreal to Nicki Minaj. Like you can tell in the video, like, oh my god, I'm dead to what Beyonce. Is, it's like be, Nicki, like that's that definitely Beyonce is her friend, yeah. but she's still a fan, right? And like that's the thing, right? Like she's still a fan. Why do I look like we're getting dark? I don't know. This bright ass light better not be dead. It looks like, like it. My God, it looks like it's about to die. Wait a minute, let me check this out. But um. Yeah, that's what I wanted to say. I feel like that video was so good. It kind of was giving me like, like, is this how all Beyonce um, albums are going to be now? Like straight 7-Eleven, 7-Eleven? Yo, if Beyonce come out with an album of nothing but 7-Elevens, I will turn up. Like, it's going to be a fun time. Like, come on. I'm coming. Sorry. But, um... Yeah, I'm ready for it. I love the video. I thought it was a nice time. I love that Beyonce coming on with that little weed hoodie. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, we know knew Beyonce you was weed. tore up at Coachella. We know she smoked weed. And it's uh, it was fun to see them at Coachella because when we saw the pictures of her, it was like, what the hell is that? I like right. when she asked her for the nail later. She was like, is that bubble if it's gum? Uh -uh. No, it's the nail later. Want one? Yeah. I like them. Um, I love the burgers. Yo, can we eat at burgers like this since we got food? Um, I tried. What was I about to say? God damn it. I heard that there was some shade thrown in the video. It's a, first of all, I haven't let me watch the video like five more times. I mean like 10, 15, 25 more times. And I'll probably come and say something about it on Thursday because I didn't get to analyze it. But people were already like, it's a scene where her and Nicki Minaj actually swapped outfits. And uh, Nicki Minaj has on a shirt that says pervert and the number is 17. I don't know. What scene is the way they swap outfits? I'm going to show you. Okay. But um, when it, it was like when they was by the car, Beyonce had on like fur. And Nikki had on something, and then it switched, and Nikki had on the fur, and oh Beyonce yeah, had on oh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. But that. um, great video, love was, Beyonce. Y'all nice. know I love it. Shout out to the Beehive. Yo, them in that blow up pool. Yeah, I love them. Like it was just a nice time. All right, let me hurry up because I don't know what's going on with our light, but I want you guys to be able to see us. I think it's this uh storm, or I'm not really sure what's going on. Yeah, just hurry up. Um, Trey Songz and Jamie Foxx's new albums came out today, which Trey Songz. For the Beyonce slash, I thought the Swan Trey Songs album was coming Drake out in June. Slash, let me just tell y'all that this surprise album shit is not for everybody. And I heard that the album isn't even good, but I'm just telling y'all what I heard. I didn't listen to it myself oh, yet. Oh man, well maybe it's a mixtape. I'll wait for it to come on title. I looked for it on title today. It wasn't on there yet. But um, Jamie Foxx, I heard the choice was really bad. And judging by oh. your single, it was probably bad. But like I said, Jamie Foxx gave us two good albums. He's an actor. He does not have to keep doing this. So. The thing about me, I hope that Beyonce now goes in her next album that comes out. It comes out on. Doesn't music used to come out on Mondays, right? Yeah. Or Tuesdays. I can't remember. Whatever day music used to come out on, I would hope she just drops it on. Like a normal album. Yeah. Shout out to y'all. Um. Real quick, uh, oh yeah, I wanted to come back and clear up because I thought Mariah Curry had canceled her whole show. She canceled one of her recent shows and I think she's going to be canceling another one because she got bronchitis. But the big fuss was because the show just started and she already had to cancel the show. And you know, people were upset because yeah, in Vegas, it's not like, oh, I can just reschedule for next right. week. Like, you're going to be gone. Oh what? Getting so dark. Well, I can't help it. I'm a chocolate thing. Um, um, but you can't help when God strikes you down yeah. with bronchitis. So. Still annoying though. 
Um, but J Lo is going, and she'll be there in the beginning of January. She's going to Planet Hollywood, which I really wish that I could go to yeah, that show. We can probably go. We I can really talk about go. it later right. because I was listening. Guess what came on the radio while I was counting my draw today? That's my shit. Oh, you know, that's my song. I was like, oh, I want to see Jalen's ass in Las Vegas, so you know we got called. Hopefully she lip syncs. Um, he's going. He already put up there. He getting a meet and greet package. We oh, have to no, sit with his ass. I'm not getting it. But um, Lil' Kim is coming out with a reality show called The Queen Bee. It's going to be on BET, and the date hasn't been announced yet, but she said that she wants to give TV a black Kardashian. Why? The white ones are already so annoying. Like... Can I tell you? No. I don't want to watch it. I don't want to watch that. Like, I I don't want to watch it. Like, why, little Kim? I barely even will listen to your music that you're putting out. What do you? What makes you think that I want to listen to you talk? I don't want to. I don't want to see your face. Like, I don't want to know. Once we get the full tea on it, I'll come back with it, but, you know, whatever. I'm not looking forward to it. I, you know, Lil' Kim fans, I was getting bashed the other day for saying something about Lil' Kim, so I just wait until I, I don't care. Like, why can't I say whatever I have to say? Don't say whatever y'all want to say about Beyonce. The thing about it is, the thing about it is, the half of the shit that y'all say about Beyonce isn't true. Um, and last but not least, I just wanted to tell everybody to send their prayers to um, August Elsina, which I don't know. I'm not a big fan of his, but I found out that he's going blind, and I actually, you know, read the caption, and it showed him getting something done to his eyes. He's actually completely blind in, in one eye, eye, and he's losing vision in his that's right, and that's sad. sad. And he said, you know, the procedures that he's going through are very painful, and he was just like, you know, the things that you take for granted, like everyday things... Stuff like this really, really makes you become very That's grateful. why I keep these glasses on. I don't play no games. Yeah, and, and you know what? It wasn't just him. It was a friend of mine who I used to work um, with when I used to work at McDonald's. And she was talking about how she had um, she had an accident years ago, and something happened with her spine. And she was just like, everyday things that people can do, like, oh, I'm going to go take a walk today, or oh, I want to go to the gym today. She said that's something that she's just been recently able to do. And she said, you know, bones and body parts that you don't even think about, right. you know, people take them for granted. So everybody just, you know, if you're complaining, trust Stop me, it. there's somebody else out there that's much worse than you. But that's the end of our show today. And um, I know it's a long show because so much happened, but we're going to go now because we're missing love and hip hop. You know what just reminds me of? What? Edward Spin. Me too. Uh, shiny, shiny. But um, again, like I said, shout out to the new subscribers. Let me give you all my quote for the day. Y'all going to love this quote. I'm very good at what I do. I'm better at it than anyone else. That's not arrogant. That's a fact. Who said that? Olivia Pope. And I said that because I be feeling the same way sometimes. Like, I'm not the best YouTuber on here. And I am so excited for us to have close to 1,300 youth subscribers right now. Which, like I said, we started off from 10 subscribers. Right. So, you know, when I was telling, you know, some people don't think that 1,000 is a lot. But that's a lot to us because we work hard for these subscribers. We did. And we, we are still are working hard. Right. And we're not going to stop working hard. So, you know, it might be a little thing to somebody, but it's a big thing to us. And sometimes, some point in our, you know, journey, we will have 25,000 you know something? I, feel, I like that because that's how I feel about, and I'm not, you know, being like overconfident but I feel like that about what like the things that I do as far as work like cooking getting dressed different things that I really like to do I feel like I do it well so but y'all know me. what to do if you're new to this video make sure you subscribe come under in the comments and say hey I love to say hey to y'all FYI when y'all see me replying from B stand that's me Tiffany today will come and reply under her name which yeah. It's rare, but I'm she does have her time. Yeah. But um, make sure you subscribe, like this video, tell a friend to tell a friend, tell your mother, your cousin, your sister, your brother, your uncle, and your uncle new boyfriend that don't nobody know about. And as always, if you didn't know, now you know. Now you know. That no There's no show. Like the show. Like the show. Peace. See y'all on Thursday. I got a special treat for y'all Thursday, too, so get excited. Yeah. It's Throwback Thursday, and I got a throwback for him. Oh, throwback.